This is gonna be a quick one, okay? But I don't even know version 0.17.2. And they added birth dates to uh, the profile of players. They added birth dates to the characters and then they fixed a daily task requirement for cooking. Yeah. Okay, and I bring this up because Simple and Mo, everyone has been uh, complaining. Everyone has been complaining about the uh, suggestions task for as long as the game's been created. And if you're gonna fix the daily task and I don't know, please, for the love of goodness gracious, do the same thing for Simple Mo and get rid of the freaking suggestion task. I hope that they add like reduce um, the market purchases because uh, like i get it like we could like i uh, between my my alt and my main i am transitioning a lot of items through uh especially like all the fish but uh like you know if you're just like a normal person with one character the amount of like buying for that crap would be insane um and and i don't i, I don't know i'm always broken idle in my mo at this point so <laughs> like <laughs> my fishing all is always rich yes absolutely <laughs> fishing all oh man millionaire uh everyone else poor 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 um yeah. but yeah yeah like i i think it's cool adding a birth date i guess and then reducing the cooking because cooking is also a pain but uh yeah and i will say i think most of the task numbers are atrocious in idle ml i i, I honestly believe with like how much time a player can idle yeah and you know it only gets really better the amount of resources you can gain through like tools that are like you know broken already on the market by like 200k or more yeah um i just think the the number of tasks especially the hunting task because hunting is pretty much one of the weakest points of this game in my opinion mm -hmm. they're awful so i don't even look at my task anymore and i just i tell myself like the, the newest campaign i will finish it by 2026 <laughs> because the the tasks are just i i can't deal you but. know i think I personally think you reduce the battle task numbers because that is a more active feature, mm -hmm. but increase like the the mining and the you know the the wood cutting like you could absolutely increase those pretty well, because um, there's a lot of grind to it. So I don't think there's an issue with that uh, in that case. But yeah, definitely reduce the the hunting or battle ones a little bit because I don't know how many people are actually active in the game, like actually doing things for a long period of time. Maybe the, the hardcore gamers are grinding through this game and, like, staying on it. But, like, for me, like, I show up, I click, uh, you know, different tasks that I need to be done for each character, and I get off. Or, yeah. or you know, I fill out the, the guild challenges and do the raid, and then I get off. Like, I'm not sitting there for a long time playing the game. I get in, get out, and, and get on with my day. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it for Idle Mills update. Uh, right. When you're ready, Crazy Fire, let's move on to Ironwood RPG because it's huge. Yeah. It's huge news. It's huge news. It's huge like us. Hey. I All right, everyone. Here we go. We have Iron, the latest from Ironwood RPG, and we're at version 0.14.2. And why is this such a big update? They've added a release to the game. So it's been in public testing this whole time. It's gone. It's undergone uh, a huge amount of changes in this phase. Mm -hmm. And now they've added a release date. So the dev said Ironwood RPG will be coming out of alpha into a full release uh, on July 6th this year. So they're in a couple weeks, a couple days after the Simple Mill community uh, event ends. Player progress will be wiped on this date, leaving only the name of the account. Players who reach a total of 10, 50, and 100 million total EXP will receive a badge based on their progress. I'd like to give a big thank you to everyone who helped test the game and gave feedback in the Discord server during the alpha stage of the game. And that's from Mickey Boy, the dev of Iron RPG. It's a solo dev project. So July 6th, Crazy Fi. Yes. So what does that mean? Everyone who's played the game with us, Hopefully you continue to stick with us because we have a monster guild. We do. And to players like Jason, who are new, uh, and I know like Desi and a, and a couple other people uh, throughout the Simple One community have turned to this game because of us. Uh, and then, you know, our friends like Cutie and a couple other people who uh, were in our guild and they hopped off. Like uh, Silver was our gold bank for a while. This is the yeah. time, if you love the game, to prepare to come back. Uh, July 6th is going to be, you know, a fresh start for everyone. We're committed to the game. Crazy. I, I feel like I can speak for you, Crazy. We're committed to the game. We're committed to getting that guild EXP yeah. and becoming top 10. So yeah. uh, hopefully we see everyone there. Uh, it's going to be a wild time for sure. And yeah, I'm excited for it. Hey, what do you what do you have to say about that, Crazy Five? I'm super excited for this wipe for a couple of reasons. One, I feel like 
as I've been playing initially, like a, a bit lost as like, oh, okay, I guess I'll just, you know, chop some wood now. Oh, I guess I'll get some ore. Oh, what's this? Alchemy? That's cool. I'll let me play around with that for a little bit, you know? Uh, but I think I'll have like a more focused approach this time around yeah. and, you know, what I want to do. Uh, which I'm excited about. It gives me a clean slate to restart that. Not only that, but the biggest thing for me is that we'll have a freaking chance at being one of the top 10 guilds now. Because like, yeah. it's been ridiculous. Like, seeing, like, the number one guild and the amount of EXP, they've clearly like been there since, like, the, yeah, yeah, they've been there since, like, the beginning of the game, and there was no reset in the EXP. So, like, yeah. they just have time on us that we, we can never get until 6th July, which is awesome. That part I'm excited about. Um, yeah. And, uh, we got to make sure to uh, like get a screenshot of like who's in our guild r right before the restart. And then we'll, you know, they get first dibs on being mm -hmm. in the guild again. Good call. So that's it for Ironwood RPG. Mm -hmm. uh, now we can move on to uh, simple, some simple news. We'll start with the mercenary arc here by Bombs. So if you don't know, Bombs is a veteran tagged player, whatever the frick that means in this game. And he's prominent. Uh, he assumed leadership in TSL not too long ago when Bezel disappeared on everyone who's now back and in a different guild. But anyway, Bombs is a giant. He's a powerhouse of a player. Look at his current level. 300k, yeah. a little a little over. And uh so what happened? He skewed the numbers everyone. Blame him for that. I mean, honestly that shield looks a lot better now, but this is this is what happened. He got uh, a full Eden's tool set. And he was like, I'm going to go PvP. What he did, he wasn't asked to do this. He dropped out of TSL. He went to Bloodlust first, or maybe not first, but he went to Bloodlust. He dropped, like, quoted here, 7,000, so 7.6k kills. He left Bloodlust and went to Wolf. And so what he would do is he would just request to join and then ping them in their guild Discord, like, hey, let me in. And so he went to Wolf. Uh, to help with uh, the war against Factory Reset, which is Rain Factory, re you know, Reborn. Um, he says like 120 kills to finish off the war, I guess. And then he also started to help Wolf against uh, Russ, which is Prostor. Because Prostor and Wolf, we'll see on the SGL later tonight. They're essentially neck and neck right now on the SGL, fighting for uh, positions here. Uh, so he was helping Wolf against Prostor. But then Prostor paid Chul, and you'll know Chul from uh, Babel. Yep. Well, what used to be Babel. Yeah. So <laughs> Prostor used Chul, so it was like another proxy war here. Well, I guess not. It was just mercenaries uh, to help. And he says they went and went from plus two to plus fifty on Pro over Prostor from Wolfblood's position at nine hundred KC. I don't know what that is. I think that's kills. But I didn't feel like staying the week to be honest. And then he moved on. He even went to Hell. Uh, so Hell is a guild. All right, Hell is. is heaven and hell. Yes, it yeah. Is. So KC there's Hell. Count. Okay. Thank you. So there's hell, but it's heaven and hell uh, went and gave 3.6k kills. And like, again, he wasn't paid to do this, but H&H &H did uh, gift bombs a custom bomb saying thank you. So that's pretty cool on them. Um, and yeah, he said he was just paying some goodwill with friends and, uh, you know, paying silver back when he helped uh, Merry Men, unex you know, unexpectedly in season two when t uh, bombs first started. Uh, in the game and of course merry men was where essentially all of tsl or most of tsl came from uh which was another split from jimmy who was a weirdo <laughs> so that's the bombed mercenary arc this is internal mm -hmm. uh, by, uh, so i want to quickly shout this out but simple mo uh other news wolfblood is having a wolfblood community event hunt uh, it's internal to wolf it's by the red hood who's also an artist with their comms open by the way and it's to promote stepping in uh, guild exp it's you know all you gotta do as a wolf blood members to step more to participate and their prizes are first place 300 mil plus a special item made by the red hood nice. second place you get 150 mil third you get 50 mil and then fourth through 10th you get 10 mil so i just want one i'm i'm in wolf blood so i wanted to highlight the red hood and the wolf blood event but also i feel like a lot of guilds do this uh to keep people interested in, you know, uh, events within Simple Mill, especially, I mean, Chris and I, we were just talking about this offline, mm -hmm. how the community event is so long 
the hype dies out within like the first couple of days when the tools are all grabbed and you know yada yada yeah but i feel like a lot of guilds take the time and care to do these internal um events to promote more activity throughout the entirety of the event uh the event's length so shout out to the red hood and shout out to the wolf blood community